Hello, welcome back. Uh, we have a new person doing transformation. We had another E3 uh, Shijunja, so giving that a shot, he turned into a crocodile, of course. <laughs> Nothing useful. Uh, did the usual summons. I had that new fort we've got underwater. I put some nature boosters on the mage there. Search for nature sites, found a living sediment. That's one nature gem, not bad. Lithium has our greatest glory is yet to come. The Ivy King is their new prophet. Uh, he attempted to assassinate another one of our mages in that fort with his sling of accuracy assassin. Uh, he hits an Onmyoji though. The Onmyoji is guarded by a retinue of one ethereal bird. Which, you know, manages to take out the assassin, so... Uh, kind of sad, but there we go. We had a battle in Kareen. This was finally, after like, what, 40 turns? Finally moving into the big 50 PD province owned by Tianqi. Didn't really look at this army uh, last turn, but basically we've got some Sohei's, we've got some Tengu, we've got a couple of Akami and Archers as well. Uh, there's enough mages in here to do some quickening, some Iron Warriors, some Flaming Arrows, and Wind Guide. And that's about it. There's also some Onmi OGs doing luck. That is a nice volley. Got the cave drakes in the front too. Tengu fly in. Mostly pretty straightforward. The uh, bone melter is pretty long range when we've got those boosters, huh? Wait, do we actually have those boosters, or am I, am I just making that up? Hang on, let me see. There's a fire mage. There's an air mage. I can't remember which type I have doing bone melter. Oh yeah, I do, okay. I do have the lenses. Yeah, I usually give the nature ones the... Oh, that's right, it's a nature water spell, I remember now. Yeah, so the nature water guys get water lenses to do long range bone melters. Going so fine, we do lose an Onmyoji on turn 0 to an arrow, which is great. And uh, we lo lose some Tengus to our own archers, probably. But besides that, fine. We'll keep marching into Tianqi's territory. Uh, we also saw a battle in Roko, but nothing too interesting just yet. We also saw two Cap Storms this turn. So we've stormed Kalum and Atlantis stormed Lemuria. So, exciting turn. Now, I expected that this fort was completely empty, with just an oracle. Uh, not even close. There's quite a few mages here, including two more adepts of the Iron Order, uh, both of whom have earth boots and float rings. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't think Earthquake is that good a spell to use against my army, but maybe I'm wrong. So lots of mages, we've got the Oracle, who is mostly just a water cast as well, but a bit of Astral. So we're doing some buffs. We do have a trash bag who's somewhere. There he is. So he flies on on turn zero, well one. Does in fact attack largest. Instantly just smashes the oracle to bits. So a huge con congratulations to trash bag, who then immediately gets dusted, dusted. <laughs> so you know, uh, great showing. There goes an Earthquake. Don't think it does much to us. I'll check the battle report at the end. We've got the big evocations. We've got Pillar of Fire, we've got Bone Malta. Just clearing out all the stuff that flew at us. Our Tengu are flying in with their armor-piercing weapons. Very nice. Looks like we did get off Army of Lead as well. Rocking 22 protection. Pretty nice. So, you know, definitely more stuff than I thought there was going to be. Uh, but uh, we still managed to clean it up pretty effectively. We did lose a Ryujin. And of course we lost uh, Trash Bag too. I'm not sure what killed the Ryujin, <laughs> but we did lose it. Uh, where's the Adept? The Adept's got 32 kills. I guess that's not nothing. But uh, not terribly impressive either. Uh, what did we lose mainly? Most, mostly Soulless. We did lose a lot of whites to banish spam, which is a shame because the whites are cool. 
14 archers, 9 Tengu. That's about it. Didn't lose any of the Sohe's. So not bad all around. Elam has been vanquished this turn. So farewell to them. Uh, <laughs> that means no more messages from Kalem every turn. What a shame. Next up, Lemuria. So here we have Atlantis. He is fielding cubes and green lions. Love it. Got some uh, long dead horsemen in the front as well. Lemuria has a ton of acolytes back here with the super bless. He's also got a statue of war here. F6, E5, D6. Pretty nice chassis. So I can see people casting Magic Duel. You guys are doing unholy buffs. Okay. Any of you guys do Magic Duel? I see it getting cast, but... There we go. It's getting cast at these guys. Okay. So these guys just got popped by Magic Duel. Do you have better Astral Casters or something? Is it you guys? I mean, not much better. There's <laughs> two. I think he's popping some of those guys there. Uh, we just did Life After Death. We've also got... Uh, this is Stygian Rain. For um, Atlantis. And we've got Rigor Mortis for Lemuria. There's the Green Lions firing their uh, Acid Spray. You also have Acid Storm from Atlantis too. Ah, I didn't go to the cubes. I wonder if the... I feel like the cubes should be immune to acid damage. Or a green spell too. Everything just got lucky. Nice. It seems like Lemuria is getting cleaned up pretty quickly. What about the statue? 168 hit points of 168. But you haven't been damaged yet. Just took 7 points of damage from, what, from this guy? Oh wow, that's a huge weapon, damn! 200 magic bone glaive that also does weakness. Okay, these units are no joke. Oh, they're sacreds, okay. Got reinvigoration Farcaster Bless. I thought this was just some junk, like, infantry troop. <laughs> He's rocking some brutal halberd. They're not doing much damage to this thing, though. He does have, what, 30 protection? Uh, are you fatigued? Oh yeah, he's fatigued out though, so... He's just getting chipped away at. Let's put it on turbo. <laughs> I think maybe things were just dying on his fire shield. But besides that, nothing too difficult, it looks like. That's this Lemuria. So the Assetuts are the sacreds with the huge weapons. Yeah, wow. Um, so Atlantis lost three Forgiving Fathers. Possibly to magic deals, who knows. This guy did get 88 kills though, so congrats. He also lost some horses, four sacreds, a cube. Uh, and Lemuria's out, pretty much. Lost everything, lost his cap. So, Lemuria hasn't been vanquished, they might have like a few provinces left, but looks like Caleb and Lemuria are both properly out of the game now. Oh well to them. Uh, we found two enemy mages and didn't kill any of them. We found four pots of gold for 450 gold. Pepper Plain, which is where our priest is building temples. Uh, disease is spreading, so he got diseased. Great. Ten income in Kedra, nine nature gems in Zenthra. Small events this turn. Worldwide event, there's the deathmatch. Just me and Pythium's champion. Uh, oh god. So, we sent our already feeble-minded, diseased Ryujin named the latest gadget from Japan. And Pythium has to send his Master of Games. Who has a bow of war, which is quite funny. Uh, you have Iron Will, okay. So he always comes with a retinue. Firing some arrows at us. We are missing him with our Acid Breath. You have 14 Precision, I don't know. I feel like you should have better accuracy than that. Stop biting the uh, Escorts. Armies of German are mostly routed. Fortunately we have 30 morale, so... 
Ah. We didn't get chopped up, but we did bite the guy. So he gets poisoned to death. So it's a tie. And what happens when there's a tie in the arena? Nothing. Nobody wins. That's it. That's the end. So that's pretty interesting. Never seen that before. Uh, the disease is back in Icton. We discovered a scout. In uh, Perenna, at least. And uh, yeah, Kaylin's been vanquished. That's it for messages. Right, so we've got lots of Dominion over here now, which is nice. So we should start getting protected by the rainbow. So we're pretty safe from rituals. Uh, I guess we're also safe from mages walking into us, which is nice. At the moment, I am patrolling with these guys in Mapito. And I am patrolling with these guys in Perenna. And I'm move patrolling some stuff into Icton as well to do some patrolling there. So we'll start patrolling the border with what we've got here at the moment. But the patrols we have are going to change because some of this stuff is going to go to war in a second. But I'll try and keep uh, this area clear. It would be nice to catch whatever's bane venoming us at some point. Uh, anyway, we've taken Calum. We now have a Citadel and a Ravensvale. So we've got a bunch of extra gems this turn. We also took this province off Tianxi, which has Thorn Maze, Deepest Cave, Mudfield, and we found the uh, Living Sediment in this province. So gem income is, um, you know, we're on 20 nature, 19 earth now, which is pretty sick. I would really like some more fire gems now as well. <laughs> but we've taken Kalom. First order of business is sorting out all of our diseased crap. Um, a bunch of our mages are now horribly diseased. Um, diseased stuff is going to remain in Alem, basically. So these guys are researching. We also recruited a mage over here who came with a disease, so he's going to move to Kelm. And eventually this cure-all elixir is going to sit in this province curing the diseases on this stuff. To make sure we only hit commanders, uh, the stuff that I'm moving to Icton to do patrolling is all diseased. So all of the diseased stuff is basically moving out of this province. So the only diseased stuff here will be Commanders, we'll give them the elixir, they can drink it, cure all the diseases. At uh, first though, I want to cure Expensive Jacket's disease, because he's pretty important. So he's carrying the elixir and he's moving to, I believe, Furia. Yes. And he should be the only disease thing in this province next turn. So, hopefully he cures his disease next turn with no problems. And then he'll be adjacent to this fortress, in position and ready to go. So that'll be good. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that we're doing to sort things out here. I've also got some more claymen summoners coming over to Mapito. I'm going to set up some uh, claymen patrollers. Right, next order of business is setting up a big army to go and march into a Garthen territory. So we are summoning a Troll King. So we'll have him next turn. We have our Firecaster as well, who's ready to go with Firestorm. I can also use another one of the fire mages if we get another F3 to do heat from hell too. But, uh, you know, don't need that just yet, that's fine. And we also have an acid storm caster ready to go here. So this guy can easily do acid storm. Um, so at the moment I'm forging a bunch of items this turn. We'll have a bunch of items to give to the troll. And some final items to give to this region. It's pretty cool that he has the staff now that I've given him. Which gives him bonus spell range for elemental spells. And then I also gave him the water lens, which is spell range for water. So he's got two lots of increased spell range for water spells, which is pretty sick. Um, so all of the like acid spells are coded as water spells. So you can put up acid storm and then spam like really long range acid rains and stuff, which is kind of cool. That'll be his job. Um, so next time we'll gear out all these commanders properly. We'll put together a little army, and I'm just going to sit straight on Winter Peaks. Crack it open instantly. Start moving up and taking Tenver, probably. I'll try and take some of this other stuff with something we can use to raid. So next turn I'll show off everything properly as we move it into Winter Peaks. That should be fine. We'll have Firestorm, Acid Storm, Army of Gold. This guy can do um, Arrow Fend as well. And then maybe we can have a Heat from Hellcaster coming here. And that's all set up nicely. So that should start to look cool next turn. Uh, over here we just took Kareen. So here's the army I didn't really show off, but yeah, it's just blocks of Tengus behind blocks of Sohis. And uh, you can see a bunch of stuff inside them. 
Uh, there's lots of priests inside them to make sure they get blessed, because we don't have a, a Divine Blessing caster here. We've got Wind Guide, we've got um, Flaming Arrows, and then besides that it's just you know big ev evocations, some nice buffs like Iron Warriors quickening, and so on. Um, so these guys are going to move to Gymport, probably going to take Pantocrators then, and then go straight to Ung Baloth and take that. And then um, probably send my God to take Endless in a second too. So I'll just take all this territory, and then I'll probably just take Tianxi off man. I'll say, you know, realistically, <laughs> you can't hold this, I'm going to take it. And uh, I think he's been losing battles against Pythium. And in fact, I can see Pythium here, which is probably not a good sign. So I doubt he's in a position to contest this, to be honest. So that'll be fine as well. Uh, and besides that, we've just got some like little miscellaneous movements. Uh, I'm moving some stuff to Jomon because we're going to have Thaumaturgy 5 pretty soon, I think, which is Gateway. So we have some um, some units here moving to Jomon, and then we've got Sohei's in the cap. So I'm probably going to give them all to my god, who can just Gateway them over here where they'll be more useful, probably straight to Panionia, uh, and that'll be fine. Besides that, uh, just moving scouts up north. I am forging more Skulls of Fire. You can see lots of stuff getting forged this turn to give to those big casters. Thought a demon may might be cool. And two more spirit helms, because I think that's funny. Uh, I should probably try and get another uh, Marino Kami summon, because I think they'll make nice mass regen casters. We're making 20 nature gems per month though, so that's not <laughs> that's not too difficult to save up. I'll do that in a couple of turns. And uh, yeah, moving some more Earth Water casters over here to do more claimant for a bit. We've got the Death Mage and Giant's Rest site searching for death sites. We have this guy waiting to put up a temple in Pepper Plain in a second. We're building a temple in Kareen, which is nice. And I think I'm summoning a Bishop Fish this turn, yeah. I don't have enough water gems left over to forge uh, an air breathing item for it yet. But we'll have the fish. We've got a flying carpet for it too. So next turn I'll forge a uh, breathing item. And we can fly the bishop fish over here to <laughs> more effectively bless these troops. Which would be nice. I think that might be everything. I am doing transformation again with this guy just to see what we get. Um, I think I'll leave this caster as a manticore because it's cool. So he can just do some slightly smaller earth spells in combat I suppose. And let me just double check that's everything. So. Transform, Bishop Fish, some Tangus going off, uh, building temples and patrolling, or a Sleeper as well to lead uh, magic troops, just in case we need that. Um, I'll show that off next turn as well. Plus the Troll King, more temples, more items. Uh, Fort gets finished upgrading next month, that's nice. That's the one underwater. If we have a, another big surplus of gold, I might as well try building a fort and a lab in Genom as well. No reason not to. And that, I think, is everything for this turn. So, pretty nice. Just have to hope that things stay, you know, good. <laughs> and uh, that was it for turn 60. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, I've got some more research done. Didn't quite get to Thaumaturgy 5. You got enchantment done. I'm going to get the Thaumaturgy 5 next for Gateway. Probably going to go to Conjuration 7 then, mostly for Ivy Kings. That we have some nice chunky nature mages that aren't too bad, they're about 30 nature gems. Uh, but enchantment 8 gives us mass regen, which is a pretty nice one. Some other stuff in here that we can use. Uh, and my god can actually do unraveling, which is quite interesting. I'm pretty sure, although the, um, although the first part of the spell, the decay on magic beings, I think this only affects magic beings, but the secondary effect, Feeble Mind, I think just affects everybody. Which is kind of, you know, it's a bit scary to use in case it hits my god. But uh, an interesting idea to <laughs> crash my god into an army and cast this just to feed behind everybody. Um, don't know if I'd ever risk that, but you never know. So we'll keep, we're still doing lots of research even though we're moving out again this time. Uh, summoned a sleeper, and a bishop fish, and a troll king. Got a good transformation result as well, which is cool. Uh, we turn into a yeti. So this is much better. This is a chassis that has full slots with 15 magic resistance, 46 hit points. I mean, yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. 
So that's a really nice E3 mage. I'm glad it happened eventually. <laughs> um, such as I didn't find any and crippled units died. Saw some more small exchanges between AI, TNG, and Man, and uh, Burgerus and Agatha, but nothing crazy. We found one enemy mage, and one was feeble minded, interesting. So we hit an astral mage somewhere. And we also got 487 gold from the rainbow. Events then we got four air gems, a fire gem, and a pearl, two nature gems, and a death gem. So, yeah, we're, we're past the, uh, the streak of gold events we were getting. Back to just uh, handfuls of gems. Deadly disease in Kalem now. Uh, lost a scout. Fortress is upgraded, and one unit was cured of the disease, so uh, expensive jacket is looking healthy. Good for him. And that is it for messages. So here's how the map looks now. I wonder who the Astral Mage is that I just killed. I'm wondering if we're starting to push into Atlantis, actually. Because this is neutralized now. And this is one dot candle, so... Yeah, maybe. I suppose there might also be mages in here that we just hit. I'm not sure exactly. Um, maybe an Astral Mage was recruited here? Hard to say. Um, but yeah, our, our Dominion is definitely pushing quite aggressively into people now, which is cool. Uh, we are still on Dominion 11. But I'm building another temple this month in uh, Pepper Plain, so... Yeah, continuing to push that pretty hard. Anyway, this turn, lots of red arrows as usual. I'm always just moving mages to more useful places. Uh, I'll just cover this region first because it's quite simple. There's some commanders moving to Jomon. Uh, my god is moving back to Lomok though because I realized we have a S, well, 4 mage here now who's got a Wand of Wildfire that was meant to be a Scepter of Authority, but I guess it doesn't matter because he can lead this stuff anyway. But he's got a Scepter and a Crown of Command and a Crystal Coin. And he can lead everything currently in Jomon, so he can gateway this stuff uh, over here next turn. And now we don't quite have gateway since we didn't quite hit Thermoturgy 5, but we'll have it next turn, so that's fine. I also noticed we've actually got a Water 4 Ryujin, which is cool. So if I gave this guy a Water Lens, and then a Robe and a Elemental Staff, he'd be able to cast Nephil Flames once per battle, for free, basically, because he'd have two temporary water gems. Which seems cool. So once we have some water gems freed up, I'm going <laughs> to forge those items for him. Uh, we need a rope. We also need another um, staff as well. But yeah, he's moving over to Furia for now, just to be in this region. Uh, Bane Benham Charm is in Kalem now. We do have some patrollers here, so I, I don't know. I'm hoping we <laughs> catch it, but... Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Once we hit Thaumaturgy 5, we can... Do mind hunt on Kalem though, and clear it out that way, so that'll be fine. At the moment, we only have mind burn. I'm not going to use my god to do mind hunt though, because you know this could be some kind of bait, and there might be like a stealthy astral mage here. Oh no, there couldn't be, could there? Because strands would kill it. That's true. Yeah, I would, hmm. So I guess I can just mind hunt with my god. Yeah, I'll try and mind hunt this once we've got soul slow. Uh, good to know. But anyway. Yeah. Bane Venom Charms and Kalem. All of our disease stuff is here now, and the um, Magical Cure All Elixir is here as well, so hopefully we cure that. Although I think some of the undead has disease, yeah. Unfortunately, some of these guys got diseased because the <laughs> Bane Venom Charm is here now, so it's not super efficient. I could probably move these guys somewhere else now. Move the commanders to Icton. And put the... Actually, is there stuff here that's diseased too? Oh god, yeah, because it just moved through here. Alright, well, let's catch the thing first. And then once we've gotten rid of it, we'll put the commander somewhere where they can get healed properly. That'll be fine. Uh, up here, we've got this stack moving into uh, Gnineth Mercs this turn. Get rid of this temple. Uh, there is an awful lot of Vettiheim stuff still just sat on Tenchi's borders. It's strange to me that they haven't pressed in. But uh, I'm going to move into Gnineth. So army looks the same as last time. Blocks of Sohe's in the front, Tengu's behind, some archers, some buffs, lots of blessings. Uh, we do have a bishop fish now, but uh, doesn't have a, an amulet of breathing just yet. 
But once he does, he can fly over. And that'll be fine. And take up the duties that all those priests are doing currently. So we'll go into Nineth. We'll also see what's in Ang Baileth next turn, so I'll probably move into that and seize that next turn as well. And so far, so good. Big other movements this turn are moving on to Winter Peaks. I just want to roll over this quickly. And then probably go up to Tenvir next. And take these out. At that point, I imagine our Dominion should start pushing into this province because it's already neutralized, so that'll start killing all these mages. Which is quite good. So, if I hit Y on Winter Peaks, here's how the army looks currently. We have two blocks in the middle here that have mages in them. If you're casting spells that kind of need range, you're a bit further forwards. If you're casting army buffs and stuff, you're a bit further back. But uh, all the Tengus are here as well. Some of the archers. Um, so they're all in these blocks. Up here we've got some cavalry. In the front we've got the cave drakes, some war trolleys. Uh, trolls here, so here's at the side. Sharks at the back. And yeah, just doing what we've been planning to do. So we've got Divine Blessing, which is nice. We've got a couple of fire casters doing some Pillars of Fire. And one also doing flaming arrows. We've got a couple of guys just doing quickening on some of our troops, which is nice. There is a small communion, because this guy, pretty competent fire mage now. He does unfortunately have 16 spell casting on encumbrance, which is kind of bad. Um, so he's going to be a communion master, and then he'll do Phoenix Power and Firestorm. Uh, and he's got quite a few communion slaves. I think there's like six or seven communion slaves. And he's the only master in the uh, communion, so that's fine. We've got the Earth Troll. Here he is. Been given a bunch of gear. Got some Earth Boots, Rainbow Armor, Spirit Helmet. Got a Demon Bane for some hit points and fire resistance. Amulet of Resilience, Amulet of Giants. Uh, he's our Army of Gold caster. we have got this guy, who is our Acid Storm caster. He's doing Phoenix Power Mistform Acid Storm, and then spamming some Acid Rain. Here's a Communion guy putting uh, buffs through the Communion. we got some Bone Melter guys. Another Pillar of Fire guy. Uh, we have our Tengu guy doing Arrowfend with the Communion Slave. Uh, another Master doing buffs and then becoming a slave. Another Earthcaster doing Weapons of Sharpness. There's the Wind Guide dude, more Bone Melters. And uh, the Manticore is just doing Ground Army and then Advance and Spells. So lots of big stuff, and quite a few troops as you can see. Probably don't need much to roll over Winter Peaks, but. I'm just putting the army together now so that it's um, set up the way we want it going forwards, basically. And there's still a, four, a few more pieces we can put into place as well, but for the time being, that's what we have. And that should be fine. Also going to gateway all of that stuff over next turn too, so we can do some stuff with that. So it seems pretty good so far. I do need to go through and name all of those important mages, because that's... Uh, one of the most integral parts of Dominions, of course, for me, so I'll do that after the turn's been submitted. But otherwise, I think that's it for this turn. There's nothing else crazy happening. I, I had to give so many gems to that army to make sure that they could do those big spells a few times. So I'm basically just doing Tengus and some of the exterior forts still. Um, I also turned on some site searching spells for a bit. It's a bit late in the game to start this, but I don't mind just... I'm doing um, Fire, Water, Earth, and Nature remote site searching, just in case we pick up a few sites cheaply. Biogems in particular would be nice to find, but uh, I'll see what we get. Besides that, still making Skulls of Fire, making an amulet with a fish, and that is it currently. Uh, next month I'll do something a bit more interesting, but for now, just wanted to make sure this army had a bunch of gems. Currently just the stuff in Furia. Dragon Point. Dragon Point's 181 Siege. The stuff in Furia altogether is 594, but that includes some mages who aren't moving out. Um, still, it's quite a lot of siege strength. These forts are only 250, so... Should crack open instantly, and I'll just storm it right away, because... I don't think there can be any mages here, because they would have all died from strands, so... We should be able to just walk in, I think. Which will be quite nice. And that's the turn, currently. So things still seem pretty good. Hopefully things continue to feel pretty good. Uh, but that was turn 61, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.